Hello everyone, I'm Jenna. This is Learn Academic English. On this channel, I help English learners take their language to a higher level for school and work. Today I'm going to talk about pronunciation. I'm going to give you a pronunciation test that you can use to see what your pronunciation level is. But before we do that, I want to explain a little bit about this test. So if you're learning pronunciation in a language that is not your first language, there are basically two main steps. The first step is to recognize the pronunciation of that language. So that means that if you're learning English, you need to be able to hear and recognize the pronunciation of English. How many syllables are in a word? What is the stressed syllable of a word? And how do sounds come together to make words? There are other things that you should be able to hear as well, like sentence stress and intonation, which is the way that we use our voice to make the rhythm of English. After you're able to hear and recognize the pronunciation, then you can start working on making the sounds and rhythm of English when you speak. So basically, you want to be able to listen and recognize the pronunciation before you get into the small details of improving the way that your pronunciation sounds. So in this short test, we're going to test your ability to recognize the way that English sounds. But I want to let you know that this is just the beginning of learning pronunciation and improving your pronunciation. And I will make many more videos about pronunciation. I also have a pronunciation playlist, which I will leave the link to below, where you can learn more about improving your pronunciation of English. Before we get into that test, please don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you find it helpful. And after you take the test, be sure to leave your score in the comments below and let me know how you did. So let's take that test. This test is going to have five parts and then we will go through the answers. First, we'll do front vowels, then other vowels, consonants, syllables, and finally, word stress. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil to write down your answers. In the first part, I'm going to say one of the words and you're going to write down the word that you hear. If you want to save time, you can also just write the letter, for example, A, B, C, D, E, but I would recommend that you write down the word as well. Number one, bit, bit. So again, I'm saying just one of the words, write down the word that you hear, bit. Number two, raid, raid. Number three, Feel, feel. Number four, ladder, ladder. Number five, etch, etch. Okay, I'll repeat all of those one time so that you can check. Number one, bit. Number two, raid. Number three, feel. Number four, ladder. And number five, etch. You can pause the video if you need more time. If not, let's go to the next page. In the next part, we're going to listen to other vowels. So these are vowels like ah, o, u, u, and the schwa vowel a. Uh. Number six, but. Write down the word that you hear, but. 
Number seven, not. Not. Number eight, Luke. Luke. Number nine, soot. Soot. Number ten, put. Put. Okay, some of these can be a little bit hard because you might not know the word that I'm saying, but be sure to look at all of the words and try to figure out which one I am saying by eliminating the words that I am not saying. Okay, I'll go through them all one more time. Pause the video as needed. Number six, but. But. Number seven, not. Number eight, Luke. Number nine, soot. And number 10, putt. Okay, pause the video if you need more time. We're gonna go to the next part and remember at the end, we will check our answers together. For the next part, you are going to hear one of the words and you're going to write down the word that you hear. Notice that for this part, we are focusing on consonants. Number 11, fade, fade. Number 12, path, path. Number 13, choke, choke. Number 14, shocked, shocked. And number 15, pot, pot. Let's listen to all of them one more time so that you can double check. Number 11, fade. Number 12, path. Number 13, choke. Number 14, shocked. And number 15, pot. Okay, let's go to the next part. And for part four, I'm gonna say the word, you're gonna listen, and then you're gonna write down the number. How many syllables do you hear? How many syllables do you hear? Remember that a syllable is gonna be a part of the word, and usually a syllable will have a vowel sound in it. All right, number 16, negotiation. How many syllables do you hear? Write down the number. Negotiation. Number 17, interesting. Interesting. Write down the number of syllables that you hear. Interesting. Number 18, hugged. Hugged. Number 19, strengthen. Strengthen. And number 20, Beneficial, beneficial. Okay, I'm gonna say each one one more time for you to double check. Negotiation, interesting, hugged, strengthen, beneficial. Okay, pause the video if you need to and listen again. We're gonna move on to the last part, which is about word stress. Where is the word stress? I'm not gonna say these words. Um, that would give the answer away. Instead, you're gonna look at the word, you're gonna write the word down, 
and you're going to write a line over the vowel of the stressed syllable. Let's look at the example. For example, hotel. Hotel. You can hear that the stress is on the second syllable. You're going to write down the word hotel and write a line over the stressed vowel. So again, I'm not going to say the words. You're going to look at them and use your knowledge of word stress rules to guess where the word stress is. So go ahead and pause the video and do that. When you're ready, unpause the video and we'll check our answers. Okay, now it's time for us to check our answers. For number one, I said B, bit. Number two, raid. That was letter C. Number three, feel. That's the long E sound, feel. Number four, ladder, ladder. Now you might be wondering about some of these because the last one has a D, but as you probably know, when we have a T in the middle of a word, the syllable before it is stressed, the T sounds like a fast D. So uh, for these, the T and D probably sound the same. For example, for D, we say letter, and E, we say ladder. And number five, I said D, etch, etch. That's the E eh sound in get. I will link a video above that practices some of these vowels. Let's move on to the next part. Part two, other vowels. Number six, we have but. That's the, the schwa sound, uh. Number seven, not. That's the ah uh sound. Number eight, the long oo, Luke, Luke. I have a video that explains the difference between oo and u. Uh. That would be letters D and E here, Luke and look. Number nine, soot, soot. This is the same sound in foot or sugar, uh. And finally, number 10, I said be putt, putt. Putt is a verb that we use like in the game of golf where you like push the ball, putt, putt. Uh, this is not a common word. The other words here would be pat, letter C, pot, and letter E, put, but I said putt, putt. Okay, let's go to the next part, consonants. Number 11, fade. That was B, ends with a D, fade. Number 12, path. Ends in the voiceless TH sound, path. I have a video about TH sounds that I'll link above. Number 13, choke, choke. That's the ch sound. Number 14, shocked. This is the past tense form and the ed sounds like a t, shocked. And number five, 15 was pot. Okay, let's go to the next part. Syllables, number 16, negotiation. That should have five syllables, negotiation. Number 17, I said this word with three syllables. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Some people say interesting or interesting. That would have four syllables, but I said it in one way that's commonly pronounced, interesting. Number 18, hugged. That's one syllable. 19, strengthen. Now, if your native language is Spanish or Portuguese, you might think that this word has three syllables. You might be thinking it's estrengthen, estrengthen, but we say strengthen with just two syllables. Strengthen. And number 20, 
four syllables, beneficial. And finally, the last part, word stress, equality. Now, there's a rule for this, that if we have the suffix itty, the word stress is on the syllable that comes before the suffix, equality, just like majority. Number 22, method. Method is a two-syllable noun. Most two-syllable nouns have stress on the first syllable, method. Number 23, democratic, democratic, democratic. The rule for this one is the same as in 21. When we have the suffix ik, the stress is on the syllable before, democratic. Number 24, biology, 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 ology. When we have the suffix ology, the a ah is stressed. Sociology, psychology, biology. And ology means the study of something. And finally, electrician. Now the rule for this one, this is the same as if you have words that end in shun with T-I-O-N or shun with S-I-O-N. The stress is going to be the syllable before. Electrician, information, decision. I hope this short test helped you to recognize what your pronunciation in English is like. What sounds and parts of words do you hear well already? And what things do you need to work on? Be sure to let me know what your score is in the comments below and come back soon for more videos like this one. I hope to see you back here again soon. Take care.